with the Chaldeans. I have my co-host, Anthony Toma, with me. Hello. And today, we got Get Naked with Naked Fuel. <laughs> we got Natasha, her mama, and uh, we've got a nice, cool uh, business that she created. And we're going to get to talking into that today. And you see all these beautiful colored flavors over here. And we're going to talk about all the nutritional facts that she has to offer. How's it going, Tash? It's going great. And thanks for having Glad me on your to show. Have you. Awesome, awesome. I feel me so too. honored. Yes, it's good <laughs> to have you. So let's talk about, you know, your 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 past to your present, like what you did with uh, everything from your either lifestyle in L.A. with what you did and then worked your way back over here to build this awesome brand and where you are today with it. So, um, so I moved out to L.A., what, like 2004? Yep. No, actually, I'm just kidding. 2008. I'm really bad these <laughs> days. Um, but I moved out there. I went to school for fashion, and I minored in marketing. So I moved out there, and I got a job with Giorgio Armani. So Where'd you go to school? I went to Eastern. Okay. I like, had a fashion program. So, do, so for us people out here in Michigan, what is Eastern? Eastern Michigan. Um, it's in Ypsilanti. Oh, Eastern Michigan. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. so here. Yeah. Oh, here. Okay. So you yeah, didn't move yeah. out to go to school? No, no, I stayed here. My friends were going to U of M. Yeah. I got you. So I lived in a house with like six girls. Half uh-huh. of us went to Eastern and the other half went to U of M. Very cool. Yeah. So we're major posers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's all but good. it was fun. Um, yeah. So then I got a job with Giorgio Armani for a mm-hmm. few years and then I was recruited a Max Mara. Mm-hmm. It's like a primary Let's not brand. graze over the Georgia Armani. What did you do for them? <laughs> um, I was a stylist for them. Oh, wow. So I worked on Rodeo. And Very I did cool. like TV and PR for them. Oh, really? Yeah. So much fun. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. A little excitement, right? From being LA to Detroit. Yeah. yeah. How old and were you then? 20, 20s? I was, yeah, like 24. Wow. That's so awesome. It was like the best time big of my move. life. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, it's a big move. You went from, from one coast to the next. Mm-hmm. Well, I grew up going out there because I had family in San Diego. Mm-hmm. And my cousins lived in L.A. So I always gravitated to that yeah. L.A. lifestyle. Cool. It was so our, much fun. That's our sister. So then you <laughs> came back here or you are still out there? So you're still no. out in Cali. Oh, yeah. I was yep. still out in Cali. Then I was recruited to Max Mara. Mm-hmm. Worked with them for a couple of years, too. Did the same thing to TVR, uh, TV and PR. And then um, I kind of knew that I wanted to leave that lifestyle because you could only do Hollywood for so long. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's how I felt. Sure. I mean, people were shocked that I made it there for like five years. Wow. So it took me like five years to kind of get sick of that yeah. groove. I worked in Beverly Hills, lived mm-hmm. in Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you kind of get jaded over yeah. time. Come back. Plus, you, you know what? When you grow up with our community you tend to miss it yeah you really do miss it but it was like the best thing to leave because then you appreciate detroit and like our family and our culture culture. in a completely different way so i always tell like my employees like go leave like home is always here and you'll appreciate your mom your dad like your siblings your childhood friends you'll never create bonds like that how do their parents feel about your advice um, They're like, I don't know, Nisha, yeah. Natasha said <laughs> Natasha, it was okay. Right, right, right. <laughs> I think like the Americanized parents that like yeah. really like, you know, they understand, mm-hmm. they get it. But the more traditional probably would be a gotcha. little upset with me. It yeah. strengthens you, right? For sure. It gives you the oh, yeah. ability to understand one side to the other. Definitely. It builds like character. Yeah. I mean, it's Growth. not easy, but mm-hmm. anything worth it isn't easy. Yeah. No. So then what happened? So then I kind of got sick out in L.A., um, and I started health wise. Li- yeah, health oh, wise. Okay. Um, I was listening to doctors. Mm-hmm. They were telling me what I should take, and ended up being on like a roll, like on a script of antibiotics and then steroids. And I was just like trusting oh, what my Beverly Hills doctor was telling me, you know. Mm-hmm. And then over time, like I was always really energetic. I like after work, I'd go hiking, yeah. go to the mountains, go to the gym, and then like I noticed. I was like really tired after work. Like at 5 p.m. I was like ready for bed. I'm like, something mm. isn't right. So I like started um, researching my this medication. And then I found they this put blog. You on? Yeah. Okay. And then I had found these women that had the same side effects as me. And I was like, okay, this is it, you know? Yeah. So then I realized that I kind of had like an autoimmune problem. Mm-hmm. And um, I started healing myself like nutritionally and mm-hmm. growing up my family was always into this stuff how did you know how to 
heal yourself. I was just researching it. Okay. And then at the time, I had a friend from Australia who was one of my good friends in LA. And she's like, mm-hmm. I think you would love this program. It's called the Institute of Integrative Nutrition. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a school based out of New York, but you can yeah. take these classes like all over the country. Mm, cool. So you do it online. It takes a year to get certified. You become a health coach. But you don't necessarily have to be a health coach. You can, I mean, it's just good to like have this knowledge, knowledge to raise a right. family, you mm-hmm. know, or whatever. I didn't know what I was going to do with that. I was like, okay, I'm just like, passionate i'm interested what did you, in what, that how do you how does someone out there find the, this program um just online in the institute of called? integrative institute of integrative nutrition nutrition yep so just google it and you'll google it find and you it. can find it what did it cost you what the course cost you i think it was like anywhere from like four to six thousand dollars if oh, wow. you pay it like in full yeah which how, I really how long think I did. Course? It's a year program. Oh, okay, okay. So, so like, it's legit. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's literally, legit. Like you're doing legit. work. Like yeah, yeah. you're, you have conference calls with like your other people in the program okay. monthly. And, yeah. You know. So I want to talk about the advantage, disadvantage of what she said. She was able to find like her situation with help with the resource of online presence and all that. And um, it's, we didn't have that before. You know what I'm saying? So, like, your situation could have kept worsening and worsening. You you were able to get yourself out there and get some of that resource information. And um, sometimes it can be confusing, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like you don't really know what 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 are you going to trust and what are you not going to trust. Right. If you can't trust a doctor, it's like it's kind of <laughs> it's, it's, it's like it's alarming. Kind of scary. It's, it's alarming. It's yeah, yeah. terrifying. It makes yeah. you like feel like, like, who can you trust if you can't trust right. your doctor? Right. Yeah, that, the doctor should know. Yeah, but I, I mean, I don't, I don't know if they necessarily want to turn you to a natural cure or a natural like solution. holistic or always solution. Right, no. holistic. Yeah, they right. Want to go with the med- Medicaid side. Well, of course, it's away. to make money. Yeah, of course. And you know, that's that, how our government some some thrives. circumstances I'll give it. They, they there is a reason because you just can't overcome a particular situation, no Definitely. matter how much of natural situations you want to use or yep. natural remedies, but. A lot of times we um, we we went with natural remedies. I mean, from history, I know things have gotten a little worse now. Like your flu is not your normal flu anymore. Your cold is not your normal cold. It seems like everything's prolonged. But in in my thought process, I'm just thinking because of seeing what all that it we we created that kind of ourselves, right? So like if we mistook the way we took antibiotics, right? You messed up your schedule. Sure, it's not working anymore. But in between all that, there's a preventative before you got to get to the curative, right? And it seems like you, you're what you're doing is the preventative. Yeah, before definitely. The I always tell people like, people complain like, oh, your product is so expensive. But it's like it's like that gym membership. Is it worth like? Are you worth a dollar a day? Yeah. Right. So you know what I mean to invest in your health yeah. to not be on that like blood pressure medication. To yep. not have to get insulin shots, you know. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's not a, like a dollar burger day or whatever no. at McDonald's. <laughs> right. It's, it's legit. It's a real thing. It's That's a drink. A it's or, or it's a meal or you know. It's all natural. It's yeah. yeah. Literally, we use organic pr- uh, produce. All of our products are add-ins. That's yeah. huge. I mean, I get ship stuff shipped from LA. I thought you said shit. Shipped. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> shipped. I get shipped. LA shit shipped yeah. in. No, so <laughs> organic. We organic. Organic, and then we have like the Zen Center and. Um, Ham tramic that makes mm-hmm. our granola from scratch just for us, nut free, gluten free. Um, there's other vendors I work yeah. with out west, local vendors like Gabby's Gardens. I mean, they're using yeah. organic, natural products. Drench dressing, she's not using any. Right. Additives. So it was like your situation was the spark of getting to this point? Definitely. It was like a game changer. Right? So it was like, yeah, when people, I always tell everyone now, like when mm. you're going through that, like really hard time in your life where you feel like you're hitting like rock bottom yeah like at this point i know there has to be a bigger reason and Mm -hmm. this is like my bigger purpose you know it's like i'm literally helping save people educating people i believe everyone's like do you really think your product's gonna work in west Bloomfield, michigan and i was like yeah i i believed in my soul like if you had the ability to give people the option to eat healthy quality quality and yeah. it still tastes good yeah then why not why wouldn't people if they were conscious and woke I like yeah. to use the term woke it's true you know yeah yeah because our customers are definitely on the woke end it's yeah. not that bs it's yeah the real they're deal. not the sheep mm-hmm. right they're awakened yes yeah. for sure. yes and and with you making it in west bloomfield um 
it's one hell of a tough market. <laughs> we have, I mean, the strongest clientele. You have the Jewish clientele. You have the Chaldean clientele. Mm -hmm. You have the African American clientele. You have some of the most highly demanded clientele. And in that city itself, if shit makes it, it makes it. There is no in between in there. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? It's either yep. with food or with this. If if you're accepted, you're accepted. So that off the rip tells us. And how many years are you in right now? Uh, four. If you've lasted after your first, you're going to be lasting for a lot longer in, in that city overall. You know, if you look at some of the stuff in that plaza that you're in, yeah. look at the name brands in there. A lot of them have been there for a long time, yeah. you know, so if you have come and go. So let's talk about some of this stuff, get into what it was to get started as a woman, as an entrepreneur in the county. Why you got started. So you yeah. started, you were telling the story about the doctors and then yeah. you want to finish off. Yeah. That. So, um, so then I just started healing myself, mm -hmm. uh, researching. Then I studied holistic nutrition with mm -hmm. like every course was like mind blowing information. Yeah. It's such a, uh, information overload when you yeah. start to really learn about everything. All Give us like three flow. things that you learned that just blew your mind. Um, or two or that whatever, we shouldn't be whatever. eating or stuff or is that we, yeah, mean? whatever, whatever like it was that just, just, just she's like, how, shook you. So like how hell? powerful like turmeric is, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. So, or just like how powerful changing, like removing gluten from your diet is, you know, right. like what a game changer in energy or removing sugar, like fake, artificial sugars from your diet. If someone is. wanted to remove gluten, what would they look for? Like what are the like the key el uh, elements? Elements of the so gluten. So gluten is pretty much it's really a binder in like bread mm -hmm. or any like baked goods, anything okay. packaged. Okay. So anything packaged that it's like a carb mm -hmm. really has gluten unless it's labeled gluten free. But then even like the gluten free is too. still BS <laughs> too. So Sucks, man. the number one thing I tell people, if you look at a label, it should be anywhere from like three ingredients to like 12 ingredients listed. And you should be able to pronounce everything mm -hmm. in those ingredients. If there's that a chemical for with drench. So, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Karen knows what's yep. up. So, yeah. um, yeah, if you can't pronounce it, then you shouldn't be putting it in your body. Mm. And if, and my biggest thing is like teaching people to eat like caveman days, like eat from the earth. Like if yeah. it's, like even lemons is now a man-made thing. Like if yeah. you've ever looked into, have you heard of Dr. Sebi? No. No, but a lot of stuff is genetically modified right now because yeah. it, it's one they're saying You're for saying lemons? Like even lemons is like a crossbred of like yeah. fruits. Like a lime is its actual, it's like oh, lime the is original. A, okay. Yeah. And lemon, they made it how? With the I don't know what they crossbred it with, but... but there's stuff like that. I mean, corn right now. Corn is one of the largest... I mean, that and soybeans are one of the largest genetically modified <laughs> products because we consume so much. Right. They had can't to make... Keep up with the they can't keep production. up with the demand, which is bullshit, if you ask me. Because <laughs> right. that... Let's be real. If you couldn't keep up with the pr production, then why in the hell do no, we have so much... No, they make it cheaper, way. Well, yeah. look at obesity. Yeah. Right? It's so sad. It's and then, like, ADD, sad. I just want to touch on yeah, that. Yeah, and ADHD. With children. Yeah. yeah. It's all, everything that they're eating. feeding kids at school. Yeah. I mean, wh what are you putting into feeding? your body? Food? Just food well, wise. We're, like, but we're sending the food to, to with my son. Like I send this stuff. The hot them. lunch is most of them that have. Yeah, but we're, I'm packing his lunch. So what is that? So what do you pack? Like give me an example of what you You're pack. probably a bad Bob at times too. Listen. Ham. Is that uh, ham full of nitrates? Ham and is it yeah, processed? Of yeah, is it? Of course, it's yeah. processed. It is processed? Yeah. Yeah. So that's See? like steroids. Yeah. Right, right, right. So well, you need to get like boar's head and stuff. No, you need to go get like You need like boar head and stuff. Boar's head like is preserved, like it's nitrate yeah. free. If yeah. you're eating lunch meat, you definitely want to look for like nitrate not, free. Like yeah, not lunchables. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? No, you don't yeah. want to pack them with lunchables. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, like, I are you me. eating like fruits and vegetables? Are you cutting yeah. like fruits celeries? And yeah. 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 And then, I Cucumbers. mean, of course, kids are kids and you still want them but to. But there's like, Oreos in there. Yeah. Know, I mean, that's. Poison. You, 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 yeah. Poison's good for you. <laughs> I mean, Toughens, it's, it's yeah. good not to be like an extremist. Like, I don't want to say right. you need to be extreme. Right. You need to still live your life mm -hmm. and have that balance. And I tell people, it's like when you're at home or like during the week, like only cook clean you know have like yeah. clean healthy things at home and then you know as being chaldeans we're so social and yeah. we have so many things going on yeah. and eating is such a social thing that it's yeah. like you can indulge when you're you know engaging with your family members or mm -hmm. friends or at events and there's yeah. a lot of opportunity to do that right i almost feel like for my lifestyle it's like 50 
50, you know? Mm -hmm. so, so, you, so you you started to mention ADD and then what they're feeding the kids. Yeah, so like what, what sugar. Like, I mean, to? sugar, if you look at the rates of ADD in America versus like right. kids in Europe, mm -hmm. it's insane. And so the sugar is causing this yes, or the definitely. sugar is enhancing it's, it? Well, it's enhancing it. And ADD is like supposedly not even like a real thing. It's yeah. just, it's attention deficit disorder. But if you're feeding kids like non-nutritional things and it's, it's hard, yeah. filled with chemicals, like what do you think the, the reaction is going to be? Lethargic so and you were telling me how you cut out sugar. Like tell yeah. me how you feel. So right now, is there an urge? Yeah, there is at times I still want it. We had a couple of guests that did some pastry, but I had that one small little pastry in between it. But from daily what I was intaking, my energy level, when I'm up at six now, is actually I'm up and out of my bed, not sitting there. Lagging. What, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, so I'm not burning out by three, four o'clock, five o'clock, I'm not starting to drag. My sleep mm -hmm. is better, and waking up with energy is, is the difference. But one thing I've noticed, you, skin. When I look in the mirror, my skin doesn't look as shitty. Mm -hmm. When I ate sugar, as shitty. Well, <laughs> it's, <laughs> now you look good. Uh, sorry. You know, the last couple of weeks I've been looking at you and I'm like, man, his hair <laughs> looks fucking great. But it's not the hair, huh? <laughs> it's, <laughs> you, it's the, you thinned up in the, the face. Thing, I thinned You're, up. And your skin's it's glowing? It, it's, it's, <laughs> it, so, so I've taken that, uh, that element out of it. But what I would like you to tell the, the viewers, because there's a big difference. This country is trying to promote high fructose corn syrup as sugar and pass it as that. It's not. It's not cane sugar. It's not. So there is some difference in some of the sugars, like raw and all that. Mm -hmm. It's still not great for you. Right. Just doesn't matter if it's pure I mean, or whatever. People are saying like Diet Coke is better than Horrible. regular Horrible. You know Coke, what people you know? don't but know? Like the aspartame and the Diet Coke is what kills it you. It triggers you, you to know? eat more. Yeah. You know that, right? What's well, that? they have. Diet Coke has the aspartame, but it, it still makes you chemically, like, think. A little bit later, it's time to eat again. When yeah. you really shouldn't be eating, you know. I used to be a slave to Diet Coke. My brother I used too. To drink five or six, seven. I know a lot a day. of people that My are. My brother and too. And I just quit cold turkey, and I've, after I quit, I got the advice that I could have weaned off of it. Yeah. But I had a massive headache for like seven days straight. It's, it's normal. It he touched horrible. on a great point right now. Since I was a kid till now, I've had migraine headaches. I've suffered for them. It runs in our bloodline. Most of it came from not knowing, like, whether I, if I ate a hot dog, I didn't know. It's full yeah. of nitrates. Mm -hmm. Literally, about 45 minutes to an hour later, I'd be down with my face in a oh, pillow, geez. headache and hell. In the <clears> last, <throat> now it's like 12, about 12 days since I've had high, like, sugars have cut down mm -hmm. dramatically, probably about 80 to 90 percent out of my life. I've had to use Motrin one time because it was inflammation in my shoulder. It wasn't a true, true headache. But man, if it wasn't probably. Every other day, it was like by the fourth, of, I would have headaches. They're gone. I'm not getting that spike, you know what I'm saying, in my day where I would just be pounding the sugars and then. <laughs> right. Sometimes people are just really dehydrated too. Like I, I drink pretty don't, good water. Is that what it is? Yeah. I think a lot of really? the time. Yeah, dehydration. Like, for me, I have a water bottle mm -hmm. on hand, so I just drink. Like yep. I know I need good to drink like four of these a day, yep. you know, so that keeps me in check because you can yep. go, there are days that when I'm so busy at work that it's like you don't realize okay, it. eight to three, I'm like, oh my God, I only had that one water bottle on my way to work. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like yep. I just went, cause you know, when you're in work mode, it's. Yeah. But so what's the, uh, what's the theory behind drinking too much water and flushing over hydrating your, you're saying yeah you like, like flushes out your kidneys or something like that yeah I you, you know what I've heard, heard like what I've always heard yeah, learn minerals like some minerals, that, some minerals yeah. go out I just tell people to drink like if you weigh 160 pounds then you should drink half your water weight in ounces so if you weigh 160 you should drink 80 ounces of water okay so like on average like each cup is what like, eight ounce a cup or yeah ten eight ounces a cup this is like 33. Yeah. So this would be, you drink three of these a day if you weigh like 160. Okay. You know? So I just gotta get down to 160. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Fine, we'll fine. just put you on a juice cleanse. <laughs> yeah, right. Tell everybody about your juice cleanse experience. Yeah. So the juice cleanse was uh, an amazing experience. Uh, Tyson Yono called me one day and he says, hey, I'm going on a juice cleanse, why don't you do it too? So I was like, okay, I've never done it before, but I'll try it. Um, Went into uh, Naked Fuel, uh, grabbed three six packs. It was a three day cleanse. Yeah. Grabbed three six packs. You have to drink them, and I guess the, the bottles are numbered. So you drink one in the morning, and then every two hours? Every two to three hours. Two to three yeah. hours. So you space it out so that you're not hungry. So, mm -hmm. and, and you're getting a balance, right? Is that what it is? Yeah. So, like in the morning, you start with like more of 
Well, I brought the intermediate cleanse. We have three different types of cleanses. We have a mm -hmm. beginner. It's like this fruit looks and exactly what I. That's what I gave you guys. Yeah, that's what we. Uh, like, so, yeah. Um, for someone that's never done a cleanse or they're just like totally new to juicing, I give them the beginner because it's a little bit sweeter. It's more fruits, but I mean you're still getting a ton of minerals and vitamins yep. and like. Mm -hmm. In the evening, it weans off off the fruit, and it goes to like the master cleanse, which is the yellow That's drink. Right, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's um, ginger, turmeric, lemon, cayenne, oregano oil, mm -hmm. and a little bit of honey. And then the ignite, which is our all green juice, and we add a little yeah. a little apple and lemon, and we use green apple because that is a low glycemic index. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it's just a half a apple, so it's nothing crazy. But um. And then number all of two, it tastes delicious. It was crazy. They like sell the, from our menu. This is, this is candy so wh why did you pick up a three pack because it's one per day for three days straight is what it is it's or six juices. six per day yep so and you, you up six per day so you don't you eat anything you just just juice. water wa water. water and juice did you choose three did you did it three days straight or yeah three days straight doesn't yeah, take yeah. you so yeah. that's the yeah, recommended this is the first one in the morning then the mm -hmm. second one then the third one then yep. the fourth one then the third. so and monday tuesday wednesday you did this three three, three days in a row yeah, yeah yeah no food that's crazy how did you feel i mean it's i felt great i felt probably light on your feet oh yeah i felt unbelievable it was it was great. What so a difference. It's, okay, That's so discipline. if you see what goes into one juice, it's like a whole bowl filled with, like, fruits and vegetables. Yeah. So you're getting, like, real minerals and vitamins. Yeah going straight into your bloodstream yes because it's removing the fiber so that's the difference between like juices and smoothies do some of these have anything have wheatgrass in them uh -oh. those so ones do not wheatgrass is only good within like the first 10 to 15 minutes yep. of it being juiced so we recommend um to do oh, it on that, that's why they have it on the side yes yep. and oh, we have our sure. own because antioxidants i forgot she's right about go? that like what it just it po it's like you're, you're letting air into it, it so it's just, it oxidizes, oxidizes, oxidizes and breaks yes. it down so oh, all the wow. beneficials are broken down and lost interesting mm -hmm. And they say technically, like, drinking a juice, like, right when it's made, you get the most minerals and vitamins. I mean, there's all these extremes. You know, sure, you can sure. go all these, like, different levels. Yeah. We tell people no more than, like, three days in, a ju like, a juice cleanse. Mm -hmm. um, you don't need to do more than that. Otherwise, than three it's, days? yeah, you yeah, don't yeah. really need to um, to really reap the benefits. Second right. day tends to be the worst because people think that when you cleanse, you're gonna feel great right away. No. You actually feel worse because you're removing the toxins from your body and those toxins need to travel out of your body. Sure. It's not being massed like a, a pill, you know? Yep. This is actually being removed from your body so mm -hmm. it kind of feels a little uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Um, I, yeah, I didn't you didn't get feel that. that? No. That's great. I didn't get it at so all. I, I keep up with it for the most part, like on our daily routine. I take um, oregano oil for the gut and I take probiotics. That's amazing. So I keep my gut clean with that. What people don't know is it's actually part of your mood. Oh, yeah. Your gut is 80% you know of your health. 80? Your emotions. Cleaner guts, you're smiling. That's why I'm always so grumpy. <laughs> so what should I say? Uh, <laughs> what, what should I say? The grump. We need to put uh, you on probiotics then. No, but this is this is it's it's a great great yeah, cleanse. And I want I want so to do it. What else is on the menu? Do you deliver? Or what yeah. what does something like this even cost for like a six pack in? Just uh fifty five dollars. And how much in advance do they need to call you or let Just you know? Just like or? a day or we have our app. You can order online and pay online. Oh, really? oh cool, yeah. yeah. What's the app's name? Um Naked it's Fuel. Naked Fuel Juice in the app store. Cool. Yes. And then we deliver on DoorDash. Mm -hmm. There's an app for that. Yeah. Yep. So that's a, that's like two separate apps. And then we mm -hmm. have a rewards program. You just plug your phone number in. That's good. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we have three different plug apps. Plug your phone number in the app? Um, actually, when you come into the store, it's like okay. a, rewards, a rewards program. So, so you have to come in for the reward? Yeah, you do. You have okay. to put in your number. So you're not, it's not a DoorDash? Like you don't, no, you don't get the no, rewards no. or in DoorDash and all that stuff? No, but we may be <coughs> switching over to something where it's all like integrated into yeah. one system. So right now you're at West Bloomfield right now. You guys are expanding out. You're yes. going to be over in Troy. Yeah, we'll be on Maple and Coolidge. Yep. And some of the new amenities or stuff that you're doing because of the new facility. I know you were talking about some of the products for you help out a lot of vegan. You do a lot of gluten free. And you said you're now working with a rabbi, I believe, or or. Buddhist a monks. Buddhist, I'm sorry. No. Buddhist monks. Same okay. thing. Yeah. yeah. Same difference. Yeah, same <laughs> difference. So a Buddhist monk. So if, let's, yeah. if you want to just get into some of the stuff, yes. why why'd you take that route? You know, let people know. Rabbis and Buddhist monks. <laughs> yes. We were just kidding. Yes. We know there's a difference. Yes. Huge difference. Yeah. Yes. Um, so we, our whole philosophy, I don't know if we touched on this, but yes, yeah. food yeah. is yeah. medicine. Yeah. Okay. You know, so my grandfather was a natural healer. So it's kind of like an innate trait. I grew really? up in the restaurant business. Oh, yeah. Sure. 
And I always said, like, I would never be in the restaurant business. <laughs> like, never happening. And look at, never say never. Never yeah. thought I was going to move back to Michigan. Never mm -hmm. thought I was going to have a restaurant. Mm -hmm. yep. But um, we use food as, like, a healing source. So we have customers that are actually really sick that have, like, cancer, that mm -hmm. are um, cancer survivors and want to prevent this from happening. A lot of our customers really have been, like, a, through – something traumatic in their life when it came mm -hmm. to their health sure. to really make them understand like why we're different from our competitors, mm -hmm. you know? Yep. So we offer our, we make our own in-house bone broth soup. We mm -hmm. use organic Wagyu grass fed beef bones and they're locally sourced and the who, animals. Who, who would have, who would need something like that or want something like just, that? Just, okay. Anyone that's been um, moody yeah. who wants yeah. to heal their gut. So your well, gut really I know is 80% of your health. Uh -huh. So every morning I have like six ounces of bone broth on an oh, empty no stomach. And yeah, instead of your coffee, you can drink bone broth. We'll need about 10. No, so no, you so, want to start off slow. Well, I'm joking. You can go, like you can pick up the bone broth mm -hmm. and a, a, a week supply, a day supply. Yeah, you can pick it up weekly. You how, can, good is, uh, how long is it good for? It, it's good for a week. You can always okay. freeze it. Okay. We sell it in pints and quarts. You're more than welcome to bring your own mason how jars. Long is a quart, how long does a quart last? A quart is about, so it'd be like four servings, like oh, four wow. days. Okay. That's yeah. Good stuff. That's great. I've had yeah. family members use it from her for and, when they were sick. And, and you just keep it in the fridge? Yeah, you can leave it in the fridge and then just warm it on the stove top. We don't believe so in microwaves. So it's just like you warm as like warm it like a tea or something? Exactly. Okay. Um, you have it in powder form too, you were saying? So we do have it in powdered form, and mm -hmm. that's not just... What we make in house is beef bones. Okay. So there's all different types of bone broth. In mm -hmm. our powdered form is chicken, fish, beef. Okay. And I think that's it. But like what are the benefits to the difference? What's the so difference in the benefits? Some are for like inflammation, some is for like function, some is for like specifically for your gut. And, and how do we know what our problem is? Or or well, is, it, is so, it coming from someone else? So you I mean, if you're doing bone broth, it's mm -hmm. gonna enhance your immunity in okay. general, you okay. know? So I any mean, kind of bone broth? Yeah, just okay. any kind. Um, just to touch on that, like she's helped me. Mm -hmm. I've gone in before. I get inflammation heavy. Yeah. And she's directed me that way, and she's also directed me to this one as well. Mm -hmm. So they have their properties in them that will attack. But we also, as consumers, guys, just like have to walk in and help them just, help us. You know. Right. Yeah. And so, you do that, like, like yeah. if somebody walk in and say, "This is what's Re her recommendations." You know, you should say, "Failing me," and you. Well, yeah, so if you kick ass board. Yeah, the I was board, just gonna tell yeah. you. So like my other thing is like you're your own healer. Right. Like mm -hmm. you ha people have to learn how to heal themselves. You know, you have to be in tune with your body. Right. Mm -hmm. So we have a benefits wall of like the fruits and veggies we use and the herbs mm -hmm. and like all the superfoods. So you can kind of create your own thing. And I tell people whatever you gravitate towards, like you kind of innately know you sure. need it, you know? Your body's telling you something. Your body is telling you something if you're woke enough and you listen, you know? So it's about like calming yep. the mind and really listening to your intuition. Mm -hmm. So that's what we try to teach people. But um, with the broth, yep. I mean, you can use it for the rest of your life. Like it's just something, a good staple. Like you know how drink, people drink coffee? Yeah. Make like a quick healthy switch and like drink bone broth, could, you know? Could, it's like small little replace things. Just replace tea? Like, could, Definitely. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, oh. and you can drink it at night. It's really, it helps you sleep. No shit. It's very calming. Yeah. Well, most of her stuff, she, she gives you more direct approach. Like when you start talking to her, cause what other, beyond just like, I know it's so people know and the viewers, it's not just a juice bar. She's mm -hmm. got juice. That's her. Their main focus is this. But right. you take a look at some of this other stuff. Let's you, talk about some of the other stuff. Yeah. What else do you so have? So you have healing menu? properties in within yeah. the food. We do. Um, well, we do all different types of shots that mm -hmm. we make, like fresh. We have yep. uh, Drink algae shots, right? Not. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Drink shots, like okay. healthy shots. So yep. we have a blue green algae, uh -huh. which is incredible for your gut. It's mm -hmm. 103 vitamins and minerals. It's actually the first food in the world. It comes from the bottom of Klamath Lake in Oregon. So Where? In Portland, Oregon. Okay. Yeah. Klamath Lake? Yeah. Klamath Lake. Yep. Okay. So um, we served I think I was that. baptized there. Were you? Yep. In Klamath? That algae Klamath. did wonders Klamath with their skin. Lake. Thank you. <laughs> That's what they told you really was the barn up north of Iraq. Right. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so we do that. We do a fire shot, which is jalapeno and lemon. So that's a wow. good metabolism booster. Okay. We do a revitalized shot. We use, like, fresh garlic, oregano oil, yeah. 
um, Himalayan sea salt, lemon, wow. cayenne. Yeah, we have like all different types yeah, of things. Yeah, listen to some of her food, which incorporates what she's doing, right? Okay, you got avocado toast, avocado on sprouted grain bread. I mean, right there between your avocado for your metabolism, mm -hmm. you got the, the grains, omegas. fibers. Uh, yeah, you got the fatty omegas in there. You know what I'm saying? You've got that. You got, look at her, vegan burrito. Listen, uh -huh. to black beans, vegan cashew chipotle sauce wrapped, wrapped in a sprouted grain wrap made with Buddhist monks. I went vegan for like six months and I gained like. 20 pounds did you carb load no he That's did sometimes yeah, you, what happens you, you That's did what a jv approach That's what happened you carb load My because man, you're I, not full it, yeah. yeah i walked there's ever, really a strategy <laughs> bro ever i tried i went i i, yeah. I did it i went i went veg, vegetarian and vegan two different things i went vegetarian right, right. three years i did it yeah no, that's but in crazy. the first four months so i walked in got up on a scale <laughs> sat back down for a second and a doc comes in he goes bino bino and he starts pointing down here. He's like, Benno, what is this? Yeah. He goes, it says on here on the thing, you're a vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, what in the hell are you eating over here that's vegetarian? I said, look, Doc, I'm not going to bullshit you. Listen, I swayed completely towards like potatoes, cheese. potatoes, <laughs> cheese, you know, bread. Yeah. And I said, and, you know, chips. <laughs> yeah. He's like, well, listen, it's October right now, and I'm giving you till January to get back over here. Your LDL's through the roof. This is yeah. through the roof. And I'm thinking I'm a vegetarian. Yeah, no, yeah. labels mean nothing. That's yeah. what I nope. try to tell everybody. Yeah. So I did it. I did a 180, cleaned up, came back January. It was done. <laughs> So. It's really about like eating whole foods from the earth. Yeah. I think going yeah. vegan is great to heal. I don't bash people. Look at some for, of those salads. Let's yeah. look at some of what she's got on that. Like, tell me that's not something. Look at how she fills them with the protein, and people don't get it. You know what I also heard too is it true? You have to use a fatty style type of dressing in order for it to work proper with the greens. If you go fat free, it doesn't combine. Something about it not combining. And I couldn't get that from Karen either, but I, I have to I look ha it up. I'm not, I don't want to okay. say, I'm not yep. educated on yep. that topic yep. Um, yep. specifically, mm -hmm. and I don't want to lean you in the wrong. How about I, I want to leave right now and go grab some lunch over here. We have a new uh, vegan food vendor. Breakfast looks amazing. Vendor. Yeah. It's amazing. It's just like what really simple. Open? Eight. You open at eight? Yeah. And Is you can busy? always call ahead. Oh, so you can grab it and go. Yeah. Or just Because like or breakfast takes right like there. seven minutes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Too? yeah, for sure. And then cool. like any of our smoothies, which is really cool, you can upgrade to a bowl. Mm -hmm. So our best selling smoothie is the Hermstrong. I That's named it after my brother, Nick. <laughs> so it's banana, dates, almond butter, coconut milk, and raw honey. And you can add any protein to it, vegan or bone broth, comes in chocolate or vanilla flavor. Mm -hmm. And then you top it with like granola, mm -hmm. strawberry, banana, coconut, and honey. So you can do that with any of our smoothies. So the Hermstrong, we were playing a championship okay. game versus them. Uh, he intercepts the ball, <laughs> runs it back for a touchdown. They get the ball. I'm standing on the sideline with the ball in my hand. He scores the extra point. He runs over to me and slams my, the ball out of my hand. So I slapped him in his face. <laughs> he shakes it off, and he looks back at me, and he slaps me back in the face. He had the Hermstrong that morning. I didn't. For sure. And then, uh, so I tried to get him to hit me again when the referee was looking because he, <laughs> he got away with it and he did not do it, you know, but he, you know, was roughing me up. And then, so we w both walked back on the field, hugged each other, kissed each other, and got back to the next play. <laughs> Sounds like that yeah. story. What do you mean? That sounds like the CFL. It's it's CFL and Johnny. That's the CFL, sure. but yeah. yeah. That's brutal. Yeah, that it's league. fun stuff. Good. So you, so when's um, Troy opening? Troy should be open in a couple weeks. Cool. And that's yeah. where? Maple and Coolidge. Um, Anything next around to people? First Watch. Okay. That development on the corner. It's okay. on the northeast corner. Mm hmm Cool. Yeah. Cool. We like it. I love seeing it. Any challenges that you had as a woman, Chaldean woman, on top of that, getting into this business? Anything that? She was in L.A., nothing. Yeah. I, well, really, I'm saying, like, you know, I, I was like, yeah, right. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes know. I they I think I'm, like, a different breed. I just, Good. like, never really let, like, being a woman or, you know, being a Chaldean Good. girl affect me. I think it's because I had like two brothers, yeah. and I was like the only girl. Yeah. So it makes What's it a little more. What's the order? Is it is it you, Nick, and Travis? And then Travis. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I think I might see Travis tonight. Oh really? Well, not when this airs, but <laughs> tonight. 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 Okay. Tell him I said hi. I will. <laughs> good old Nicholas. I worked yeah. with him for years. It's good Travis, guy. Travis, not Nick. No, Nick. Yeah, yeah, Nick. Nick. Yeah. Nick is a hustler. Yep. Yeah, Nick, Nick will be helping at Troy. He's going to use his sales experience. <laughs> and he's like a really good integrator. We're a good balance. Like I'm more of a visionary and yeah. he's an integrator. Yeah. So 
you're gonna have him stand outside with his shirt off. Yeah, so and then the women. like wave to He's gotta shave first. Yeah. <laughs> he gotta shave first. He gotta shave first. No, like that. Girls like like that. that. Yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah. We used to always clown and joke about that. Yeah. But, so yeah. Nick will be helping over in Troy for a little bit. Good. Yeah. He's got the personality. Just yeah, he's just great. Give him Tuesday mornings off because he parties like a rock star Monday nights. <laughs> Monday nights, he Yeah, does. Monday nights, he's really, really busy. Where do you see him on Monday nights? I can't say. Okay. It's a, Undisclosed it's, it's location. A, it's a fight club type of uh, thing. All right. Stay tuned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a good thing. Anybody want to give a shout out? Any people you work with in our industry? Family, friends, Family, friends. girlfriends. Um, well, my mom's amazing. She's my yep. partner. She comes cool. up with and all who's your mom? Gloria Saman. Yep. Gloria so, yep. Saman. Go yep. Gloria. Go Glow. Yeah, we yep. love her. We taste all of her love in our food. Yep. So her, um, Karen from Drench has been like super amazing and supportive. She's awesome. Um, who, who helped with the logos and the designs? You know what? The... Travis came up with like the name. Uh, Brand mm -hmm. Bar is amazing. Oh, it's my yeah. best friend, Alex, Alex. Jonah Sawa. Yep. Yep. And um, her creative team, they're geniuses. They totally get my vision. We were great together. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, Brand Bar definitely wouldn't be here without you gals. Yep. We love our girl team. Cool. Um, Great team. Yeah, they're amazing. Who else? We love Aesthetic Art from next door. Oh, yeah. Love the sister team. Yep, Tanya and Jen. Yeah. Yep. yep. So. Good girls. They got love for you too, definitely. I love they them. They definitely do. So the yeah. Kelly community has really been amazing for us. The people that really understand it and appreciate mm -hmm. our product. Our product is not for everyone. Mm -hmm. It's for the awakened. Yeah. And, you know, everyone's on their own journey and path. Yeah. yeah. So we respect that, you know. And you positioned yourself for a good support, too. You're on Maple and Orchard. Very yes. busy. And so and now you're opening a second location. Yeah. You need mm -hmm. you need applications. You need people to yeah, submit Yeah, I need, like, employees for the evening. So high school, college kids, mm -hmm. um, supervisors. You'd be in Maple and, Maple and Coolidge is you're so central. central. I mean, yeah, you, you for can pull sure. from anywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's like um, Marion, Brother Rice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. So any Country parents day. out there that want to send their kids to uh, out of the house and get them uh, <laughs> busy and learning how yeah. to uh, take healthy. care of themselves, stay healthy, yeah. and yeah, eat right. This yeah. is a perfect opportunity for them. Sure. And y as a parent, you won't have to do the research. They'll do it for you. For yeah. sure. Yeah, we have like my employees like go home and snap me and it's like they're making the avocado egg toast. Uh, so they're making feeling? a smoothie. Yeah, I know. I'm proud of them. And ass. my employees that have left, they're like, oh, my God, I've gained like 20 pounds since I stopped oh, like no. working for you. I was like, well, you got to come back. Yeah. yeah. I've gained, I've, I, That's I, the only way to get it back off. I'm working to lose 20 pounds being on the show. Yeah. This camera has done such major work. I'm, when I get home, I'm like, wait, who was that guy that was in that chair? <laughs> I'm definitely gonna come check you out. Yeah. I can't. Um, I'm going to do this because again, you take this cleanse. I made it fresh for you today. We, we'll, we'll share. We'll share together. You take whatever. You can have it all, Junior. I'm just taking. I'm taking <laughs> this, I'm, the this one for sure because this is one of my favorites coming into your place. Then I'll check the other ones, or we'll divvy with some of the other, other cool people. The only thing bad about Mark the cleanse and was that. Like you drank it and then you were like, oh, it's a gone. I want yeah. more. Yeah, <laughs> really. You're like, I love that. I, I, drop it on the field glass. Drop in the bottle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Can't yeah, they're all so delicious. They really are. Thank you good. so much. Mm -hmm. Good. Delicious, healthy. Yep. You actually feel good. That's what I tell Benefit, people yeah. too. Yeah. Focus on the feeling of like when you eat. Mm -hmm. Since um since I met my husband, he lost like twenty pounds. Yes. Just because like I was like, you Let's know, plug him a little bit. Yeah. Plug him. Yeah. yeah. He needs a he yeah. probably needs a few more followers to add to that one point four million that he has. <laughs> yeah, no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> Might get him two more. Right, yeah. maybe. One or two. Um he has his own YouTube channel. What's his name? Stavro Hamama. Mm -hmm. And his channel is Cars Toys Movies. Cars Toys Movies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kids love it. So if you have young boys or girls I mean, Yeah. We're gender neutral here. Yes. No. Yep. 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 So. Yep. What else? Is there anything else we forgot to ask you? Anything um, else you want to plug? Anyone else you want to talk about? I just want, you got you the, want to uh, uh, hate on someone? Go for it. No, we don't hate. <laughs> we only spread love. Here. Just curious. That was this a coupon for anything or? Oh yeah. Can... So we have remedy packs. I can okay. touch on those really yeah, quick. Yeah, They're actually sure. fun. Um, so we have the Doctor Fuel. Mm -hmm. It's like three Terminator shots. That's if you're ever sick. A yep. term, three Terminator shots, a flu fighter so juice, right, yeah. and um, a bone broth soup. Here, for all you party animals, the after party, it's a great like hangover remedy yeah. pack. Yeah. For pregnant moms, we have baby on board. So it's like a smoothie and a shot. It helps with nausea. Mm -hmm. 
Um, trust your gut. So you guys need that for your moods. <laughs> it's a celery juice, aloe, and bone broth. Um, book smart is for like people that want to focus, studying kids yeah. in college. That's what I. You see, these are shots with. or drinks. These are combination packages where it's like a smoothie and a juice, oh, okay. or like the ready for the oh, day. Oh, so there's three things <coughs> listed here in those. Yeah. Those, so those three items. Yep, those oh, three wow. items. So they they differ. Like ready for the day is like avocado egg toast and our mm -hmm. ready juice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and then girl time is like that time of the month for women. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And yeah, mini me is for kids. So yeah, we just have like little different. And what kind remedies. of pack is this called when they come? What's uh, the Naked Remedies, the and naked you get remedy pack. fifteen percent off. Cool. Yeah, just say you heard about the remedy discounts on keeping, keeping up, up with the Chaldeans. Chaldeans. Keeping up with the cool. Chaldeans. That's we are all Chaldean. I just want to know who came up with that name. Shots, uh, Darlene Salem Bahri. Darlene Salem Bahri. Okay. Yep, she came. She up She threw with it that. out there. We asked uh, for some help to uh, name the show, and she threw that out there. We got a lot of great. Uh, yeah. Great recommendations, but that one stuck just so that we can get sued by the Kardashians one day. <laughs> I, I think I don't think they're worrying about you guys. <laughs> yeah. not, so, not, so yet, not, not yet. yet. I mean, I got a few calls. Did one, you? One, one from Kylie and one from Kendall. Kylie. But they wanted to hang out, and I was like, I no. can't do that. You know? Can't do it. And then they're like, I was busy on that. And I was like, Fuck you, bitches. <laughs> Invite them out on Monday yeah. nights with Nick. I invite yeah, yeah. uh, you guys. So. Well, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Persuade them. <laughs> so in closing, we usually get to ask the question of all questions. Uh oh. I love my big homie. So what does it mean to you to be Chaldean? What does it Since mean? Since you've been, you know, East Coast, West Coast, yeah. Central. Um, to be Chaldean is to be from a really unique, rare culture mm -hmm. that has great morals and values. Um, there's nothing like our community, really. Yeah. And there's no love like Chaldean love and support. And yep. You can go anywhere in the world, but nothing feels like home, you right. know? Yep. And at the end of the day, from like what I've experienced working with celebrities and living in Hollywood, and mm -hmm. life is about love, and love is like your number one blessing along with health. So if you got love and health, like, that's it. You got what it going on. Want? Yeah. Okay, so and love, love is family is part of the love. Agreed. Definitely. So, yeah. There's no love like your family's right. love, mm -hmm. you know? None. None. I agree. So I feel really blessed to be Keldium. Very cool. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. well, we Way wish you the best of luck. Next uh, location coming up soon. We'll yes. check you out in Troy when it's up and running. Awesome. Thanks Thank for you. watching. Thanks for being Thanks. here. Thank you. Thanks for, for uh, teaching us a little bit about yeah. our guts. Yes. <laughs> yes. And like that. It was nice meeting you, gut. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> You're gone, buddy. They won't see you next yeah. week. It's, nope. it's nope. going away. Yeah, next week. <laughs> Peace Thanks. out and happy Peace. Thanksgiving. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving. Happy well, Thanksgiving. Come get your cleanses after It'll, Thanksgiving. It's going to air after Thanksgiving, right? Or oh, no, sure. hers will be Tuesday. Oh, it won't be? <laughs> no. <laughs> we're okay. getting the we're getting the nod no. Okay. So well, well, anyway, happy Thanksgiving. Okay. Hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. Yeah, yes. hope you ate a lot. And now you're coming to Naked Fuel to clean yep. up your... Yes. Come to Naked Fuel. Go to Naked Fuel. Order your cleanses. You see a lot of beautiful women there. Yeah. Yes. I saw Morgan there once. Oh, yeah, Morgan. Morgan. Little cutie. She used to work with us artist. back in the day. She's so cool. She, yeah, she's a cool, cool chick. Mm-hmm. All right, well, closing it out. See y'all. Bye, y'all. Good one.